All right, hello, hello, hello. Cheers, Kevin here, and welcome back to another uh, <laughs> exciting episode. I'm gonna take these off because there's glare usually from from the light. Um, welcome to another very exciting episode of Let's Build a Studio, or Let's Flood a Studio, or Let's Tear Stuff Out of a Studio, or other things related to studio stuff. Um, <laughs> Uh, this has really b sort of become more of a life vlog, uh, but I'm, <laughs> I mean, after the area flooded, but I'm going with it. I feel like making a video because I haven't been putting stuff out uh, particularly this week. Um, don't have stuff to put out. Um, because, as I mentioned in uh, last week, our basement flooded uh, due to some heavy rain and... Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, the result was tearing up the floor uh, down here pulling it all out. Um, I had all the ceiling tiles down and uh, those were all resting on on top of the floor. Of course they soaked up a whole bunch of water and stuff. So where we're at right now um, is I've when I've got a bunch of dehumidifiers that we've had running are still running um, but they've got things very dry down here. My skin is very dry and crackly and, and yeah, um, it's unpleasant, but it's it's helpful in terms of curtailing um, curtailing things. Drilled a whole bunch of holes in the bottom of uh, the, the the drywall um, beneath uh, behind all of the uh, the baseboards, which the baseboards all had to come off as well. And at this point, there's you know there's a little bit of mold from previous decades. Um, I'm sure that uh, in, in the wood is starting to go a little bit. So we were discarding a lot of stuff. Um, so we had um, a dumpster bag out here for a while. So my, I was hauling as much stuff as I could out to, to there and then come and take all that away. So the floor is now gone, the ceiling is now gone, the baseboards are now gone. <laughs> um, not just in here, but elsewhere too. Um, but the big question now uh, for the studio is, okay, what are we gonna do? Well, uh, un unfortunately, uh, I, I mean, I did speak with the insurance folks, and they did tell us it's water damage. It's all on you, <laughs> um, which is, I mean, it's it is, it's fine. It's an act of weather, you know. We can't insure against the weather. That'd be ridiculous. Um, <laughs> um, even flood insurance apparently would not have helped in this case because flood insurance really only kicks in when the city happens to determine that your block, uh, that two or more properties on your block were flooded according to some civic definition of flooded. So there was nothing we could have, uh, no insurance we could have had that would have paid out in this case apparently. Um, and that's fine. Um, we think maybe some of the issue might be our sump pump and then we'll have a plumber out here next week to take a look at that. But that brings me to why I'm in here. <laughs> I can't, and I've got more stuff in here now. Um, in a cruel twist, uh, the sump pump, they actually built it underneath some cabinetry and it's sealed off because of uh, radon protection mitigation system and stuff. So it's not really accessible. So I'm, I have to tear up a counter anyway. Um, and so I've got to move all of my office-y things out of there and uh, well, moving into the studio a little earlier than planned without a floor. Um, so, we're gonna make the best of things. One thing that is on the way that I'm really excited about is the Whisper Room uh, caster plate. So um, Whisper Room, big sound booth, lovely, wonderful thing, very heavy. Um, basically you set it up on the floor and then you do not move it because it is a pain to disassemble and reassemble. It's not too bad, but it's it's heavy and you know not something you wanna be doing every day. Um, but I figured, hey, you know, I'm nervous about this stuff getting wet if I set it on the floor anywhere. It's not the sort of thing that I want to, you know, oh, it's starting to flood again. Let me take half the day to disassemble this thing. Um, put it up on casters. Then, okay, the casters get wet. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. So, big caster plate will be coming. I'm also, just since I was ordering stuff, I decided I was going to get a, um, a replacement for one of the walls of the whisper room that actually has a cutout for a window. Um, which I think is going to be really helpful because it means I can actually use monitors and stuff on the outside of the booth rather than having to try and cram everything into a uh, small area. We'll see how that goes, but hopefully that should be shipping soon and then we'll get that set up in here. Um, trying to think what else. I'm trying to just, <laughs> just get all these thoughts out of my head because I'm not editing this. My machine is uh, 
Well, it's over there. I, <laughs> I bought a very cheap little uh, shoe rack thinking, hey, maybe I can use that to keep this off the ground, uh, you know, just in case we get more rain. But no, it's, it's too heavy to... <laughs> up on there anyway. Um, hoping to be able to at least get that set up. I think I have maybe three um, Minecraft Zebtech videos that are already recorded. I just need to edit them down and then upload them. But of course they're on that machine and I don't have that stuff hooked up. Um, certainly don't have any good audio recording stuff set up just yet. Um, oh yeah, and the last thing, um, just because I feel my hands are uh, blueberried right now. I'm, I gotta fix, fix that. Um, last thing I want to mention, just because some people have been mentioning in recent comments, um, commented on weight loss and stuff. Um, so I, in the past three, four months, um, I've lost uh, a fair bit of weight. Um, I think it was in, in, yeah, in three months I dropped like 75 pounds from a, a very bad uh, weight that I was at. Um, and I've been working on it and I, I appreciate the accolades. It's something that I've really not wanted to get into or talk about because um, I've done this before. Um, you know, I, I went, I've, so I came down from 360 pounds-ish to like 285 and I did that two years ago. And then I got right back up to 360 pounds. So, <laughs> I don't want to come out there and be like, oh, well, we're going to rah, 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 weight loss. Um, this is the scariest time for me because this past week has been a matter of, okay, uh, obviously I'm not at where I eventually want to be, um, but I'm giving myself a break and trying to focus on maintenance and stuff and trying to not run the diet for too, too long because I really want to avoid that rebounding. So this week has all been a matter of, okay, within the realm of what I'm trying to eat and what I'm trying to do, <laughs> what, how do I get my diet up to 3,000 calories without feeling uh, garbagey and without eating stuff that's not particularly healthy? It's been challenging, um, but it's, I mean, it's, I mean, the, the answer is just you throw like almonds and stuff and everything. I mean, uh, <laughs> um, well, well, and fruit. Um, so yeah, and chowing down on blueberries. Blueberries are amazing. It's it's phenomenal. Um, but yeah, no. So I I don't want to. I, I wanted to just mention it because I don't want people to feel like I'm ignoring or being dismissive or just say I, I I appreciate the 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 kind words. I really do. And um, some of you have mentioned that you've been working on that uh, on your yourselves, and that's fantastic. I definitely want to support and encourage you uh, in any way because. Man, it sucks not being healthy. Um, and I, I'm still <laughs> still not healthy. Um, getting better, taking the next probably three, three months um, to try and just maintain where I'm at and stabilize that somewhat. Um, and we'll see. It's, you know, the, the, the numbers are not on, on anybody's side with weight loss, and so it's something that's, that's, that's a little scary. But you know what? I think I, I, I'm, I, you know, I'm doing good exercise, I'm eating well, and I'm feeling better, and it's, and it's fun. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's kind of the, the update for the studio and for me personally, and uh, for those of you who may only watch the gaming videos and wondering where the heck is he? Well, that's... Yeah, basically we're focusing on, on this stuff at the moment. But hopefully um, the Whisper Room stuff should ship and then we'll be able to build that and then I'll have a nice quiet place to record. Also, we may need to... <laughs> so now that we don't have the drop ceiling tiles, it's even more of an issue about uh, noise transmission uh, to my son's room upstairs. So <laughs> I may end up going through and putting up um, this mineral wool after all. It doesn't seem to... to it doesn't seem to really create much dust when it's not moving. So maybe, maybe I can just do that. Um, if not, I mean, I guess I can seal it in. If it's interior, I think I can just use plastic sheeting or something and just staple it between the joists and try and get that stuff in. Um, that was gonna be a project that we were gonna put and then put the drop ceiling tiles back in, but I think we're probably just for, for financial reasons, we're gonna try and repair this as, as slowly as we can manage just so that we're able to Make sure that we've got lots of emergency insurance -y stuff available 
in case anything were ever to happen again. Um, so I know this has been rambly. I appreciate your patience, and I apologize that it's not getting edited because I don't have I don't have the equipment. I'm just gonna get this in and get it uploaded, and it'll come out when it comes out. So living in a weird situation, but life is life is surprisingly good. This this was this losing the the floor and seeing the water and worrying about everything was devastating for a couple days, and you know it's. It's okay. You just gotta continue doing the work that you gotta do, and that's 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 how life is, I guess. So um, that's gonna do it for me. I hope that you're doing well. Leave me leave me some comments and say hi or something. Um, let me know how, what you've been up to and um, how's 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 the weather out there. I don't know. I'm supposed to come up with things to ask, I suppose. Um, yeah, I'll look forward to speaking with you soon. Cheers.